Hello YouTube, Robert Alvarez the Psychic Witch, also known as Mr. Lighting and a Fan. Before I, and yes I have my lighting and I have my fan. Before I continue with this more than a walkthrough video, I want to do one last close-up of my Yule Tree, simply because the Yule Tree starts to go tomorrow. Um, anyway, so um, this is my beautiful Yule Tree. I had so much fun decorating it. I had so much fun putting the lights. Of course, Drake, more commonly known as my awesome audiovisual person from my YouTube videos, helped me. I love my beautiful six star, six pointed star ornament. I purchased this in a place that I'm long overdue to return to. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's got to go. I, even though I'm a happily recovered Catholic, I believe that the Yule Tree needs to remain up until the Epiphany, also known as Three Kings Day, which is January 6th, which was last Saturday. Excuse me, it was this past Sunday, excuse me. Yeah, this past... One, two, three... Yes, this past Saturday, last Saturday. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so in this video, we're going to focus on the six... We're going to focus on the Seven of Pentacles, illustrated by Leonard Jim Narciso. And the reason why that name may sound familiar to you is because Leonard Jim Narciso also illustrated the Six of Cups in the Pride Tarot, a collaborative deck. I'm going to have Drake do a quick close-up of the two cards together, and then I'm going to put the Six of Cups to the side. And then I'm going to focus on reading Leonard Jim Narciso's description of the Seven of Pentacles. And, of course, I'm going to turn on my super-powered, laser-enhanced <laughs> reading glasses, which are so... I'm telling you, four times magnification is no joke. Anyway, Seven of Pentacles by Leonard Jim Narciso. The Seven of Pentacles is usually associated with a period of resting after hard work, awaiting the fruits of one's labors. It is a productive rest where one allows the body to recuperate while waiting for one's efforts to germinate and, to be and begin to bear fruit. In this image, it is also about meditating about what one has done and what one might be able to accomplish in the future. The colors of the rainbow in the image also hint at diversity and choices about what paths one might take after the resting period is over. The rainbow also symbolizes a bridge connecting the realm of humankind, in parentheses the physical, to the realm of the gods, in parentheses, spiritual. The image depicts a bald, androgynous figure in a monastic robe sitting under a tree bearing seven fruits, symbolizing seven chakras, seven colors of the rainbow, the path of seven planets, remember to the ancients there were only seven planets, and the seventh day of rest after creation. I'm going to have Drake do a closer close-up of the card before we go... You're sure it's a closer close-up? Okay. Before we pan back to me. Um, you know, I can honestly say that every card in this tarot deck has touched me, moved me, um, excited me, drawn me deep in so many different ways. Um, there is something inherently magical about this card. And it's actually reminding me of an infomercial. Well, it's actually a commercial more than an infomercial. So, for the record, um, I was born Catholic. Um, I've been a happily recovered Catholic for several years. However, I've always been fascinated by Judaism. And I will tell you, were it not for the fact that an adult male um, has a longer and more painful recovery period when converted after the bris, after converting to Judaism, I probably would have become a Jew in this lifetime. Um, 
Judaism has always fascinated me, and it's interesting how in this commercial that I've seen on YouTube of all places, it talks about um, the number seven and its significance in Hebrew. Also in Aramaic. Aramaic is the language that was spoken in the time of Yeshua the Anointed One, the one who's more commonly known as Jesus Christ. And the interesting thing, if I remember correctly, and for those of you who are Jewish and who are Middle Eastern and who are um, experts in linguistics and languages, if I say this, if this is incorrect, please, I beg of you, correct me. But I seem to rem recall that Aramaic is a combination of both Hebrew and Arabic. Um, but again, it was the language spoken in the time of Yeshua the Anointed One. So I cannot help but think back to that commercial about this uh, course on studying Hebrew the way it was spoken in biblical times. Um, because this individual in this commercial talked about how there are several words in the Hebrew language that have as their root word the Hebrew word for the number seven. So thinking about uh, that commercial and towards the end portion of the description about um, the uh, image depicts a bold androgynous figure in a monastic robe sitting under a tree bearing seven fruits, symbolizing seven chakras, seven colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet, more commonly known as Roji Biv. Uh, the path of seven planets, again to the ancients there were only seven planets, and the seventh day of rest after creation, the seventh day being the Sabbath, or Sunday. So seven is absolutely a magical number, and it is being... Um, it's being, it's being shown as a reminder how magical the number seven is. I am utterly fascinated by this card and utterly fascinated by the story behind this card. I'm going to quickly read Leonard Jim Narciso's bio. Yes. Leonard Jim Narciso has been creating tarot and tarot-related art since the late 1990s. It has always been a fascination to him how each tarot deck can present a more or less set system of imagery and iconography in a great variety of ways. He has two decks published by U.S. Game Systems, Incorporated, the Vanessa Tarot and the Tarot de Maria Celia, and a number of others that he has independently published under his indie press, Paralumen Studio. By the way, the, the Lenormand decks out of Paralumen Studio are exquisite. Um, it's the first time that I wanted all of them. And I do know that, and it's listed here, um, his Etsy shop URL and also his Instagram account look uh, page. So I will list both in the description box, and if there are any other social media or website links, I will include them in the description box, along with the link to the video of the Six of Cups, which he also illustrated. I am so thankful, as always, to U.S. Game Systems Incorporated for publishing a tarot deck that honors and celebrates the legacy of the LGBTQIA+, excuse me, LGBTQIA2S+, community, a community of which I form part, as well as to Leonard Jim Narciso for illustrating not one, but two tarot cards in this truly, truly, um, I don't even, indescribable, unusually unique tarot deck. Um, and as always, to all of you in YouTube land, thank you for all the likes, all the comments, all the shares, all the subscriptions to my YouTube channel. And, of course, an extra big and beautiful thank you to all of you who have already scheduled your sessions. 
Um, you honor me greatly and I am most thankful. And to all of you in YouTube land, have a beautiful night, have a wonderful week, and please stay safe, stay well, stay hydrated, stay in tune with your intuition, and stay tuned for the next video.